Good afternoon everyone this is Manjeet Rawat your online instructor and welcome back to another class of Microsoft Azure administrator today i'm going to start a new module of ag104 and this module is really important for every uh, cloud architect every cloud administrator because in this module we are going to talk related to the safety of our data i'm talking about the backup and replication Azure will provide us a dedicated, uh, you can say that uh, services, those services can help us to create multiple copy of our data. It means we can take the backup and uh, we can schedule a backup, we can configure a replication and it will also help you in case of setup any kind of disaster recovery, right? Mm -hmm. So let's get this started and um, there are lots of services. Yeah, this is really important for every organization because uh, as per my experience in uh, 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 in IT and uh, especially in case of cloud computing, most of the organization want to set up their backup with the help of Microsoft Azure Backup Services. Azure Backup Services will give us an option to take the backup of our on-premises data. You can take the backup of your virtualization. You can configure the backup of services that you have already established over the Azure portal. So in this module, we are going to cover everything like to take the backup of our on-premises file and folder. We'll also discuss about the concept of how we can configure the backup services for the virtual machines, database, SAP, application, or any whatever services that you establish with your infrastructure, we, you are able to create a backup. So what I'm going to do, let me show you the steps for backup related to the virtual machine. So that's why I need to create at least one virtual machine for the testing purpose and after that I'll show you the entire steps to configure the backup for your VM. Let me create one virtual machine with name of web and definitely I want to put it into the location of uh, central US standard and um, let's uh, let's proceed with the lightweight operating system. Like I would, I would uh, recommend you to create our uh, virtual machine based on Windows Server 2016 or 2019 because these operating system does not require a high configurations. So let me proceed with Server 2016 and uh, mm -mm -mm -mm, you need to provide the information about your virtual machine with name of web, central US standard and uh, yep, operating system images. Windows Server 2016 or Windows Server 2019, you can proceed with uh, any of them. Let me proceed with uh, Windows Server 2016 small disk. Do not proceed with the core, otherwise it will not give us an option to get the access of our virtual machine in GUI because the core is related to the CLI method, right? Provide your username and password. This is really important because uh, once our virtual machine will ready to use, we'll take the RDP to make some changes, right? So 3389 port activated for virtual machine. Proceed with next, next and create. The virtual machine that I'm trying to create, this virtual machine will help you to understand how backup can perform the task, right? So it is trying to verify, proceed with create. And now let's talk about uh, how Azure can give us a dedicated option to configure the backup of our services, right? Azure portal will provide us option Azure Recovery Service Vault, right? This is the name of service that help us to take the backup of uh, any file, folder, virtual machine, 
physical computer any web server that you establish any application that server that you set up on non premises or cloud and it will also help us to take the backup of uh, sap services how it's look like backup for backup for on premises yes you can take the backup of on prem resources you can configure backup for uh, virtualization right and configure backup for azure services whatever services that you establish over azure portal we are able to configure with the help of recovery service vault it means that to take the backup of any resources like on premises or cloud your responsibility to set up at least one recovery service vault and with the help of recovery service vault we are able to create the backup of our uh, on premises virtualization and azure based services our vm is ready to use i'm going to make some changes with the virtual machine and after that we'll take the backup with the help of recovery service vault and uh, then we'll delete our uh, the virtual machine the base virtual machine and after that we'll restore same virtual machine from the recovery service vault fine because the recovery service vault as your recovery service vault give us option to take backup and also restore it is in progress meanwhile i'm going to open another wizard of our microsoft azure portal and try to create one recovery service vault let's proceed and create one recovery service vault services and uh, we just need to type recovery service vaults class recovery service vault is already available but i'm going to create my own that i that you can understand about the the concept of recovery service vault training service hyphen vault right you can choose any name it's totally depend upon you redundancy any type of redundancy that you want to establish so you always proceed with the geo because that will provide us option to create multiple copy of your backup data right so next encryption is impor important so you always proceed with mmk which is man microsoft managed key create net next and review and create and this is the feature this is the service that help us to uh, give us option to take the backup of our virtual machine our data okay still is in progress wait for a moment okay deployment in in progress wait for a few more minutes once our recovery service vault is ready to use we are going to proceed for the next step our recovery service vault is ready to use and i'm going to show you how many features that contained by the recovery service vault so simple you need to click here and we are able to see multiple options are available like uh, we are able to see the settings get started and under the get started we are able to find the option of backup and site recovery right so backup in the sense like uh, uh, you can take the backup of file folder data and uh, for example you are you already establish a esxi on on premises or uh, a hypervisor and with the help of these two virtualization tool you created multiple virtual machine and you want to protect with the help of recovery service vault so you can do that so it look like this where is your workload so which is really important for us we just need to verify uh, azure azure hub azure stack hci and on premises means these four different options we have to select the source of your data like whatever virtual machine that you establish you want to take a backup you want to configure the replication of your azure services so please proceed with this one azure stack hub which is a combination of both right azure stack which is a combination of both like the same services that you establish on on premises and same resources you establish over azure portal so in this case you can proceed with this one hci is basically specially designed for the special machine right and uh, give me one minute 
and the last option is related to the on premises means uh, by using this particular feature or option we can take the backup of our on premises resources whatever resources that you established you can take the backup i'm going to proceed with the first one because we are trying to take the backup of a virtual machine that we established next let's try to check how many options that we are able to find like virtual machine azure file share sql database sap and sap hana multiple types of uh, sap version available so i'm going to take the backup of virtual machine that we established right the vm that we created let me take the rdp and make some changes with the virtual machine right that you can easily identify the the work of uh, our backup Okay, to create a backup of our virtual machine that we recently created over Azure portal with name of uh, web, right? So uh, you just need to click on the backup and it will redirect you on the page where we can find the virtual machine. Two different options are available. One is enhanced and another is standard and huge gap between both. In case of enhanced, multiple backup per day means in a single day you can take a backup of your virtual machine for multiple time. Up to 30 days operational tier retention time if we talk about the retention time for enhance so uh, 30 days retention time you will get in case of enhance support a trusted launch virtual machine because whenever we establish our vm it will provide us a two different option you can go with the standard or you can proceed with the uh, trusted virtual machine that enhance the booting sequence of your virtual machine support for virtual machine ultra disk and premium disk ssd any type of vm that you establish with the ultra disk or uh, premium disk so it will be applicable you can go with the standard but in this case you are able to take the backup of uh, your virtual machine only once in a day and the retention time will be five days minimum right so i don't want to make any kind of policy and if you want to set up your any kind of policy means you are going to schedule the policy please click on create policy and it will redirect on the page where we can decide the name of your policy like um, uh, four days in week right like i want to take the backup of our virtual machine four days in a week it's uh, totally depend upon you and you can set the timing right uh, every day at uh, um, just going to proceed with 8 pm ist right it will take the backup of our virtual machine 8 pm ist on every daily basis and uh, this will be applicable for 30 days this is the retention time backup daily point will be applicable every backup will be applicable for 30 days means if you are going to take the backup of your virtual machine today the backup file will be applicable for next uh, 30 days. I don't want to make any changes. Proceed with next and you successfully schedule it for daily basis. Every day 8 p.m. UTC, it will take the backup of your virtual machine. Add your VM that you created. So we established one virtual machine in location of web central US with name of web and click OK. Validate your virtual machine. This is in progress. And once it's validated, we are going to proceed and activate the backup policy. Everything is okay. This is the part of our virtual machine's hard drive, like a web disk something. Click enable backup. It will initially initiate the backup, check the all prerequisite from backend. And after that, mm -hmm. it will allow us to configure the backup for the next. Okay, so it's in progress. You have to wait for a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. 
virtual machine backup deployed successfully i'm just going to click here and it will show you the status of your virtual machine's backup uh, how we can verify that the backup is completed our backup is in progress we just need to click on monitoring and it will show you the option of backup jobs just need to click on backup jobs and it will give you the status of your uh, uh, virtual machines backup the backup successfully configured and uh, we successfully proceeded right and going back select on backup option not in backup option we need to wait fine 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 so it's uh, in progress let's wait for a few more minutes because we successfully proceeded it will take time to ready our backup and after that we'll restore it according to the backup jobs we successfully uh, schedule the backup for our virtual machine right and uh, you know that it is responsible mm -hmm. to take the backup the recovery service vault gave us a option like uh, to take the backup of our virtual machine on daily basis at 8 pm but i wanted to take backup right now so for this particular task please click on uh, overview and go to the backup option and it will show you the list of number of backups that you configured. So we recently added a one virtual machine as a backup. Click on backup items and it will show you the number of backups that you have already configured as your virtual machine, as your backup agent, as your server backup. So in the virtual machines, we are able to see when VM is available, but unfortunately it will, it is not started yet. We just schedule it. It will automatically start when, uh, like uh, according to the time that you establish in the backend, just need to click on three dots and let me configure backup now. So why I'm taking backup right now, because I want to show you the steps, how we can restore it. So you just need to proceed it and wait up to 15 minutes and within 15 minutes, it will uh, make your virtual machines backup ready to use. So this is part one. And then second part, I'm going to show you the steps, how we can configure the restore of our backup virtual machine. Stay tuned with Teach Me Cloud. Do subscribe and we are going to connect soon and discuss about how to restore our virtual machines backup. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.